This is the Workplace Ninja podcast coming to you live from our summit in Baden with highlights, insights, and interviews. Good afternoon and welcome to my session. No. <laughs> okay. So let's try it again. Uh, good afternoon. Welcome to my short session uh, about uh, Graph and REST API uh, for uh, effective internal automation. It's actually more of a story of one quite productive afternoon. So first, uh, thank you for the sponsors. A little bit about me. I usually actually sit uh, in your spot. This is uh, my first time in a conference uh, speaking publicly. I'm originally from uh, Czechia and I work as an endpoint management engineer in a company called Partners Group. Uh, we can skip the agenda actually and let's go at it. So I believe it was about three weeks ago on Friday afternoon, a project manager came to me with very easy task. He asked me if I can actually change a category on a about 100 uh, mobile applications in Intune. It's like, okay, yeah, I can do that, of course. Mm, but how? So option number one is to do it manually. 100 apps, quick calculation, couple of clicking, yeah, would take me about one hour. But it's definitely not fun, right? Nobody wants to click in a console for, a, for a one hour straight. Second option was to use PowerShell and uh, module uh, Microsoft Graph in Tune. The problem with that, as I have uh, discovered quite soon, is that there is actually no commandlet which would help me set the application category. I can set categories as the definition of a category. I can create new ones, I can delete uh, categories, but I cannot assign a category to an application. All right, so I did what everybody would do. I went to the internet. I tried to find a solution. The problem was no one actually blocked about this before. Am I the first one actually trying to do that? Uh, probably not, but nobody tried that before me who would write about it. Well, I was not uh, about to give up. I was already invested, let's say, an hour into this, so it would be a shame to give up and, and uh, revert to the manual method. I remember that uh, even if uh, no commandlets are available, it's actually not a problem. I can use uh, Graph API, right? Intune is actually just a GUI for Graph, uh, graph API calls. So if I utilize, if I utilize uh, developer tools in Edge, I can discover, OK, I'm setting an, up, a, uh, up a category for an application, so I probably can just uh, steal the API call and use it in my PowerShell script. Uh, yeah, so I went and did it. Uh, I used uh, Graph Explorer to, discuss, to actually test the calls and such. We will have demo uh, very soon. And uh, yeah, uh, just before we go to the demo, for putting everything, uh, everything together. So I learned that actually when you are editing a category, of course, it's not a get uh, method for, uh, for the REST API as opposed uh, to the dollar ref we will get, uh, we'll get uh, soon. Uh, when you are using uh, Graph API, be mindful of uh, required permissions. This session is way too short to, to actually delve uh, into it. But Graph Explorer is a great tool not only to help you understand and troubleshoot the API calls, but also to understand if you are missing any required permissions because it will show you the permissions you are missing. And of course, be mindful of the special backtick character in uh, PowerShell strings. Let me go to the demo. Ooh. Here we are in, in uh, my very small personal Intune tenant, which was actually set up just for, for this uh, occasion. We, uh, we have their uh, application, SBB Mobile. Uh, people from Switzerland know it's a railroad uh, company application. 
what we can do, and we see that actually category is not assigned right now. What we can do is to assign the category. Here I, I have already opened my developer tools with uh, F12. And I will just assign the other apps. Category, I will start the capture. Let's review and let's save. And I can already see, okay, there is some traffic. And especially interesting one is here with the cog the wheel, the dollar ref. Aha, uh -huh. I see that uh, it uh, is the post method with some uh, request URL and very important with some payload. This is, I learned the, no, not the hard way, but I was not that experienced with REST API, so I tried it without, uh, of course, post without payload doesn't do anything, right? It needs to actually have something in it. Uh, the payload is uh, JSON in this uh, in this case. To copy it, I I would say always view source and then it's easy to copy. So as I learned yesterday from Petri, the easiest way to copy the URI is uh, just go here and copy the link address. I have prepared uh, already Graph Explorer here. Just paste it, change to post, and let's copy the payload. And once I, I was saying uh, something about permissions, it's actually here when you see which permissions are required. So let's copy the payload and run the query. And oh, I have a conflict. Why is that so? Because I set the same category as I have already done manually. So let's try that again. Let's uh, unassign the category. And let's run the query again. And now I have got uh, code 204, means success. Uh, it doesn't send any res uh, other response. And if I refresh the Intune web page, then I will see that the category is back. So category is address. Fine. OK, so I have the API call. Now what to do with it? Of course, we have PowerShell, right? In PowerShell, it's uh, actually quite easy to, to uh, query the REST API. We just need to define the URI, the payload, which I've already done here. And we use the invoke-rest method with uh, all the required parameters. Uh, I will not go into the authentication header and such. There is actually really good, uh, uh, good articles on the internet about it, how to authenticate uh, against uh, your tenant. And uh, yeah, when you have uh, once you write it in a, in a PowerShell, it's actually really easy to substitute, uh, substitute all the IDs for uh, parameters or variables and, and build automation around it, right? That's, that's not a problem. The most difficult one was actually to understand, okay, I need a URI, I need a payload, the payload is a JSON, and how to, how to submit that payload. So let's try again. I'm skipping here, uh, actually, in the meantime, I've also defined one how to remove the, the application uh, category. So if I refresh the page now, the category should be gone. Hey, yeah, and it is gone. So if I go back and let's rerun the same thing which we have done in uh, Graph Explorer, which is a simple URI, simple payload, F8, and we are back. One last refresh, oh, sorry, one last refresh. And the category is back. Other apps. Uh, I have one last slide, the takeaway. So. I should not say it uh, that out loud. I have a boss in the audience, but uh, it took me more time to build this solution than uh, if I did it manually. But about a couple of days later, I got the same request, different applications, different category. And at that point, I could just go to my script, define the variable, hit enter, 
done in 30 seconds. Easy. And most important, it was fun and I learned something new. Thank you.